You're not the Inquisition. You're something else. They came like a fire. Not seeing, only burning. Marching to what some prisoners fled before the madrigal came. Sought safety in the Serum ruins to the north. The two who led the escape, <laughs> they were the worst of us all. The Riven Twins. If the Torn don't kill you, <laughs> oh, they surely will.
of the flesh. Shush, be quiet. They'll hear us. duty to set me free and me as well how can you help you don't have hands Please. I'm a traveler, like you, of many realms, spiritual, astral, but you must free me. The confinement of the body, the bones inside. Ah, uh, yes. I can feel the wind of the world again. Ah, my thanks, Serum, a fellow walker of the plains. My name is Finley. I traffic in the inconceivable, the unheard of, the unobtainable. But my search for oddities led me uh, to this unenviable position. Now, in my untethered form, I shall return to sacrament. You may see me there, but only when I want to be seen. <laughs> only the heavens know what cause brings you to the nameless pass. You have some fine trinkets on you. Yes. I shall have to pass back by here in a few days' time. You will make a very well-adorned call. When you trade in wares as valuable as mine.
many hands. We cleansed the past. Washed it down. To and yet, look none, it seems. The gate to the holy city did not fall shut without reason. The ancients built it to defend against the plague. The ancients are dead, Governor. It's our duty, not theirs, to save the people of Kaelin. Can you not hear them yourself, crying out for help, calling us through the stone? I hear nothing. The mountain won't yield to your words the way men do. Of course it will. All I need is someone who speaks its language. Tender of the words, speaker of the dead. Those who walk between the rain, there's a beauty to the old names, even in their heresy. <laughs> Surprised I recognize you, Serum. I used to sneak into the archives at night to read stories of your people. The church considered it forbidden knowledge. Old fools hiding from what they don't understand. But I think we understand each other. There is an inscription at the base of the gate. It speaks of a chamber to the west. A means of opening the way. This is why you're here. Go to the chamber and be seen by your god. Let your presence be my passage. Serum. Hm. I suppose you have no fear of the pestilence at all. Do you believe the Madrigal? She brought an army and a will to match it. Perhaps I've grown too accustomed to retreat. It's said that your people built this gate during the first war with the plague. When it fell a year ago, you could hear it in every corner of the island, like thunder. It woke me from a deep sleep, one I feel I've never quite returned to.
Some of them begged. Some of them prayed. When we took, took their eyes and cut their throats. But there are no gods to answer. Not even yours.
How disappointing. Even your own history rejects you. I should have known better, believing I could find purpose in the last descendant of a failed race. But my purpose is clear. I have given my life to God a thousand times over, and God in turn has made my life an arrow. An arrow pointed straight through this stone, at the heart of the rotten Kaelin. Go now, Serum. This is not your story, not anymore. People of Sacrament. My people. We find ourselves in a place we never sought, under the eyes of history. A plague that spent a thousand years confined to stories is now clawing at our gate. The threat of anarchy swells beneath us. God's chosen descend from on high. And none of us can say what tomorrow will bring. But what I know is that our stone walls do not compare to the strength of our will. And I know both will withstand whatever rises against sacrament, no matter the cost. History has called upon us. And history will remember how we answer.